Good morning everyone, time for another Bitcoin report. This is the revised Sierra chart feed. We have lost the data. You can see down here at the bottom there's kind of a hole here between 618 and 627. Sierra charts adjusted for all that lost data and it's nice to have that zero spike taken out. So the Mt. Gox feed is live. I'm still having a little bit of trouble with the Sierra chart feed for Mt. Gox. It used to when I did my flash crash update, it would update on a continuous basis. Now it's not. I have to reload it to get more data. So I'm not really sure what's causing that. If any of you know, maybe you could help me out on that. But anyway, you can see that we are building a ascending wedge flag formation, which probably will form into a cup here at some point. The good news is that Mt. Gox has come back online and they are trading. I got back into my account and everything was hunky-dory. I did have to go through a certain amount of re-verification. It wasn't enough to log back in with my old password because it was actually hacked. And I do know from another account that was hacked that the password that was released was cracked and they did log in with that. Actually, it was uh, BTC Guild, which I really don't have anything there, so. But I went ahead and changed all my passwords. And you can see over at BTC Guild, we have 10,000 workers going at 3,000 giga hashes. I don't know if BTC Guild share has gone up, but I do know that this is about twice as many giga hashes being run. So couple of theories to examine. I want to talk about a couple of things. Before I get to this giga hash rate, I wanted to look at the price chart. It does look like we are trending higher in an ascending wedge, something similar to we had an ascending wedge here. If we go back, you can see we had an ascending wedge in this one. and then we broke out. So, somewhat similar, not quite as strong as this ascending wedge, nevertheless an ascending wedge. So, my, my expectation is, and as I said before, if we follow the swing rule, which is a rule that says that when you have a move like this, normally you measure from the top of the move to the bottom of the move and your next move is that size in price. So when we take a top of 32 and a bottom of 10, that gives us a difference of 22 and you add the 22 to the 32 and that gives you the number of 54. So my projection for the next move based on the swing rule will be $54 a Bitcoin. We'll have to wait and see if that plays out. Now, I did make a prediction that we would begin to see arbitrage move in, and I have seen that ever since Mt. Gox reopened. If we go over to Mt. Gox, we've got, we're going for about 17 or so bid and ask. And we're falling a little bit now, so the high 16s, sorry about that. And you have a real neat feature here that you can use called depth of market. And this is actually very interesting because it allows you to see not just the bid and ask prices, but allows you to see the, the number of, of uh, Bitcoins that are offered and bid so that you can see the depth. So if you scroll down and find the point where they meet, you see you've got your highest bid and lowest ask. Then you look over and you can see the amount. So if you want to see, for example, is, is there a particular overhang in the market? One could say, well, there's some overhang in the market because you go down here to 1703, you got 200 Bitcoins. You also got 135 Bitcoins hanging over the market around $17.10. But if you back off you can see well at 17 you've got a hundred so that's 
pretty pretty strong pretty powerful group of sellers sitting here above the current price waiting to sell but if you back off a bit you've got 706 bid so that's the depth of the market that's a very interesting feature that they've got there and so let's pull up the latest feed and see where we're at and we're just below 17 so that's Trade Hills feed now let's jump over to I'm sorry that's Mount Gox's feed let's jump over to Trade Hill and do a refresh there and the latest we have from there is 17.15 bid 17.4 ask so this is quite unusual in that uh, this is the first time that I've seen the Trade Hill prices actually surpass the Mt. Gox prices. Normally the Mt. Gox prices are higher, Trade Hill's just a little bit lower, and then the other one I've been following is the Bitcoin 7, and they are 16.75 by 16.15, so they're considerably off. Now this is this is tightened up quite a bit since prior to Mt. Gox coming online live. And you would expect that there would be arbitrage going on between these markets. I think that the difference in price probably is due to the illiquidity of the dollars. This Bitcoin 7, I tried to throw some money in there to see and it has a delay on Douala deposits. So what I suspect is that the lower the price on the exchange, the harder it is to get money there. So that's very interesting to see Trade Hill jump up and take the lead as far as Bitcoin prices go. Now over on the economic front, we've got bad news just continuing a fairly high probability that there may be some type of Greek banking crisis bank runs capital flight something like that something pretty serious is coming down in Greece we've got terrible economic numbers coming out from the government they've been absolutely horrible and I've been expecting for some time that they're going to look for an excuse to do QE3 and if they do expect the commodity prices to turn and rally and gold and silver to head much higher. So if you want to get the latest economic news you can head over to Zero Hedge. That's probably the best site on the internet. Now I want to jump back to this issue of the mining and if we go over to BTC Guild I pointed out we've got 3,000 giga hashes now going and that's roughly twice what it was a week ago so obviously with the difficulty going up it's going to be much more difficult to mine bitcoins well it's not going to be more difficult to mine bitcoins you're just going to get a lot less bitcoins for the amount of hashing power that you have I'm going to get my mining rig in the next day or so and I'm curious to see how much my 700 mega hashes will generate probably not a lot probably end up being a glorified gaming machine but the interesting conjecture about that and that's the main thing I wanted to talk about is will this now I would really like to see a chart of this number if there's anywhere to get that information charted I would love to see that because the speculation is that as this giga hash number rises and it becomes more expensive to mine bitcoins you will see a reflection in the price. I would love to overlay those charts to see if that's actually the case. It makes sense because as more and more people look to get into Bitcoin, as they examine the difficulty, they may decide rather than investing in the hardware that they would rather just buy the coins. So that's an interesting speculation. If that's the case, then we should expect to be seeing a significant rise in price from here just based on that information. Now again the technicals 
seem to indicate, especially with the MACD, you can see it's starting to turn positive on the daily. You would expect to see a significant rise in price. So my projection is if everything stays the same, that barring some unforeseen disaster, such as what happened to Mt. Gox, that if we keep trading, this MACD will soon turn around and will go positive. This ascending wedge will probably be broken to the upside and will begin to form a cup. When that cup breaks out, we will see a run to 54, and then we will have to wait and see how the market takes care of itself. And we'll talk to you next time.